This is how you print custom page sizes on a Xerox 700 color digital press. The easiest thing to do is if you use the paper quite often, rather than just typing it in manually each time that you load it, we're going to preset it so that you can select it as soon as you put the piece of paper into the bypass tray. So what I'm going to do first is log in as administrator. And we're going to machine status tools. Then we're going to paper tray settings. There's an option here called tray 5 paper size defaults. What you're looking at is cut, uh, preset sizes that are already set into the system. And as you go down the list, there are, are 20 of them. What you can do is pick one that you know that you don't use. For example, a4 is a metric size paper, so we'll select A4 and hit change settings. So here we'll say custom size and then it will be, for this example, we're going to load this in 8.5, 8.5 by 5.8. The example is a five and three fourths by eight and a half envelope, which I don't have, so I've cut down that piece of paper. Now I'll hit save and then close out of here. Close, log out, and when we load the paper in, we'll load it in the long edge. I'm sorry, short edge feed, like so. But now when we have tray 5 come up, we'll hit change settings, and when we say paper size, you will see the custom one that we did, 8.5 by 5.8, as one of the entries, so you don't have to manually key it in each time. And then make sure you change the weight to what's proper, and that's it.